From all diaspora was coincide Progressive truth and regression eventually collide May the beauty of the people no longer be set aside May the black queen's grace continually mesmerize The millions who couldn't see it when looking into her eyes And the black man's plight no longer be the disguise Oppression, emasculation, they want to castracize him Take him away from the black queen, put him inside Prison for slave labor, he institutionalized Wondering on the outside, is she willing to ride? Is she willing to ride? Is she willing to fight for the love Even despite the fact that he doing time Love that conquers all will never fade with time if she don't choose the love that appreciates every life is flame might get them any marriage. The Urban Impact Show is sponsored by Green and Wood Media Services. Green and Wood uses digital media to help businesses, political campaigns, and organizations grow while increasing their community impact. Green and Wood Media is pleased to offer a digital media buying fellowship to train, develop, and mentor young people interested in digital media, politics, and advertising. Learn more at greenandwoodmedia.com. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Urban Impact Show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you again for always coming and tuning in with us and joining in with us. I am one of your hosts, Rob Johnson. This is one of my co-hosts, Brittany Dudley, and we have Dewana Bradley, Mr. Dewana Bradley in the building. So check this out, y'all. We are live from the studio. Where are we at, Dewana? We are in Winter Heights. Thank you. I always <laughs> want to say climb, so every single show y'all see that I have to ask Dewana, where are we? Uh, we are live from the studio in Winter Heights. This space is available for private events. You can call or text with questions, 515 996 3 Two six again. The Urban Impact Show is live from the studio in Windsor Heights, and this space is available for private events and for booking. And you, all you have to do is call five one five nine nine six zero three two six, and they respond to text messages as well. I'm gonna take a breather because I need you to go ahead on and press the share button, start sharing this because the two guests that we have coming on the show today, as we talk about those who are making current black history, let me tell you, it's going to be fire. Press that share button. I'm gonna toss it to my co-host, Mr. Wanna Bradley. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Before we get started today, I wanna encourage you all. We know Valentine's Day is coming and there's things you might wanna get for your significant other or maybe yourself, either way it goes. I just need a cooked meal. Um. <laughs> You can pick up your meal. You know, I'm done with Rob. Him and his cooked meal stuff, having the food ready when you get home nice and hot. Like, that didn't happen in, on hot Valentine's plate. Day. Hot plate. <laughs> Not Valentine's Day or any day, but I'm going to just share with y'all a little bit about what we got going on. So I am collaborating with some wonderful black women business owners, oh, wow. and we are doing a sister's work of heart. So you can get a huge Valentine's Day package together. We've got, uh, and I'm going to read this so I get everyone's name right. No one gets mad at me. I got Kiana Hines. She's got Kiana Cookie Creations, Courtney Perry with Privacy and Lady Lux Scented Candles, Deshara Bohana, Design Fetish by Deshara, and then myself at Ruby B's uh, Kitchen and Catering and I Wear Urban Media. So you can get flowers, you can get cookies, you can get candles, you might be able to get a bottle of wine and also a cook meal all of that we're working together collaboratively you need to have your orders in for the food by february 10th and for the bundle by february 9th check out the urban impact shows page after this show we will have all the information up that you need to put in your order what are some of the prices just quickly for so the the valentine's package is 149 and that gets you your flowers your deal. yep that gets you your flowers your cookies your candles and i'm not going to say the bottle of wine might be a bottle of wine in there and then for the food, the prices range from forty dollars up to fifty-five dollars per plate. You'll get there's salmon, there's um, Cajun uh, cribbing jerk chicken there's vegetarian lasagna for those who are vegetarian and so we have a special chef uh, michael right. head who will be making wow. the food for ruby wow. bees on that monday we also have our regular food but we're doing something fancy do for you guys Valentine's deliver Day. you have to come pick up okay everyone needs to come pick up in special circumstances if you need a delivery we're not going to turn you down what about rob? but we prefer you to come you know pick up a rob could deliver oh wouldn't so, that be special rob some of y'all church folks need to get that bottle of wine <laughs> 
Uh, <laughs> well, wait, didn't know. some folks drink wine today? It's first Sunday, right? Look, I definitely had my communion today. Okay, so <laughs> Just had to put that in there. I'm done. Okay, y'all keep going. <laughs> hey, huge shout out to these black women who are who are yeah, truly awesome. I mean, I love it when we create economic circles, mm-hmm. right? Um, and it's not just them, but you know, they're bringing in people into that. And this is how we create e- economic power, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Like I can't do everything. I can't. Mm-hmm. I can't take the flowers. Yeah. I gotta go get somebody who can get the flowers. Get somebody who can get the food. Get somebody who can get the produce. That get was a really good idea. Who, mm-hmm. You know who can get the cookies. And so that's how we yeah. start to create economic power. Mm-hmm. And we rotate. Is the economic rotation of the dollar stays within that community. Yeah. Uh, and we can get this rotation more than two or three times, y'all. Right. So remember that as we, remember that as we do it. And let's support these women business black owned women businesses yes and real quick uh shout out uh i meant to make this announcement last week the uh i was on a phone call with the white house they just released the sba just released uh 70 million dollars for black women owned oh i've seen that i've seen that Um, go across yeah and so uh if you if you haven't checked it out go to the sba.gov or contact your local sba office yes and sba is small business administration uh go there and check it out if you are a black woman owned business small business owner please go there and check it out because they just released some funds uh for that uh, we're tired of just you know talking about it it's time to be about it mm-hmm. so enough about that let so uh, most of you all here all the time you hear me say we can read history we can read facts and all of this stuff and thank you all for who's been sharing our, our urban impact show black history facts my niece is in the building tonight uh she's going to be recording some of those black history facts today so shout out to 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 my little poodle do um but uh so i always talk about black history in a sense of like these are those who have come right, right. Brie? and so Brittany, when i looked at this Y'all hear me say all the time, like, what are people going to say about us in 2032? Yeah, yeah. What are people going to say about us in 2042, 52, and 62, right? What impact would we have made, mm-hmm. right, when Eli turns 18, when Miguel turns 21, right, when Sanaya is 25? Like, what mm-hmm. impact on them would we have created? And so this month, as we honor and celebrate Black History, it isn't just about reading facts and yeah. learning and learning those who have paved the way because we stand on their shoulders mm-hmm. and we're grateful. But it's also figuring out who are the people in our own communities who are making Black History right Today. now. Yeah. And so I am super excited and proud to have somebody who I believe is a Black History maker in their own right. And I'm going to let her tell you a little bit about herself. But please welcome to the Urban Impact Show, Miss Abana herself. <laughs> Yeah. Wow! Thank you, no, thank, thank you. Yeah. Really glad to be here. So tell, so tell us, so tell the people who you are, what you're about, and don't be, uh, don't be shy. Like, get, like, <laughs> yeah. like, right give them, yourself. give them the bit. Like, right yeah. now is the chance to take off all of that humility and just, just let it, just come on out. You know, <laughs> tell them who you is. I, I'm good at, at saying who I am. Amen. I am uh, Abena Sanko for Imhotep. That's my name. It's the name that I gave to myself because. I I believe nomenclature is key. That is the ability to name something. And so in keeping with the Kwanzaa tradition um, of self-determination and all of these things, um, it was important for me to name myself. So a couple of years ago, I I chose a name and legally made it my name. So I'm Abinasan Kofa Imhotep. I am a business owner, a writer. I'm a mom, a wife, a grandmother, a great grandmother. I'm a student, a student of life. And I, I make my living, um, by telling the truth and by providing our community and communities around the region really with the opportunity to immerse themselves in lifelong learning, centering books by black authors. So that comes under the umbrella of my business, which is Sankofa Literary and Empowerment Group. Um, So it's a triad, a three part organization um, where first we have a virtual quarterly book club 
and we center books by black authors. So every book we read is by a black writer or author. And of course, book club is open to all. So everyone is encouraged to join in on those conversations and to glean from uh, the next person and to immerse themselves in that reading. Um, but we're only reading books by black authors. Okay, so that's, yeah, so that's one. And then second is um, some consulting and strategy work um, that I do around equity. So that is working closely with business leaders and various kinds of organizations around um, what it looks like to to have equity at work in in the organization and not checking the box not um, you know tr trying to meet a quota although most organizations now are are using those opportunities to to grow productivity and to grow their their businesses which is great but um, I'm about relationship building and um, making workplaces better for people of color namely black people um, so that's the second part and then the third part is a big surprise. Mm -hmm. This is my favorite thing. This is what I was saying. I have a, I have a surprise. Uh -oh. So Sankofa Literary and Empowerment Group has. Wait, is this a special announcement about to happen on the Urban Impact? Show? Yes, it is. Yes. <laughs> Press the share button right now. <laughs> Press the share button right now. I'm giving y'all five, four, three. <laughs> Two, one. All right, back to you. Okay, thank you. Um, Sankofa Literary and Empowerment Group just launched an after-school program. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's awesome. So Samaya yeah. can come and read more books. Well, if she's a student at one of the Des Moines Public School buildings that has our program, yes. What are the schools? Mm. Uh, right now, we're at Stowe, and next school year we'll be at a couple of more. We at Stowe on Friday. I'm speaking to their about their Black History program. Wonderful. I'll see Stowe. you there. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. Yes. So it's an after-school literacy program. We work uh, with third and fourth grade students particularly because there is a deficit mm -hmm. with students not reading at grade level yeah. and after the that that's exactly right and the sad thing is even prior to the pandemic mm -hmm. there was a need yeah. so that the what the pandemic was was highlight mm -hmm. that need even more it put it in bold and italicized it for us so we would not be able to look away anymore mm -hmm. so working with those particular students what we find is they're predominantly african american boys and you know it's not just them though there's all kinds of children yeah. mm -hmm. who are having trouble reading at the, their grade level benchmark. So we come in with staff and love and uh, culturally responsive curriculum and, and books by black authors. And we work with the kids one-on-one. -on -one. Man, you, you have any questions for our Black History Maker? So I guess like it's more wait, questions just... Wait, wait, wait. Do it. More questions around the program. Like how, how are we able to get in at, at, at that elementary and um, how can we try to get you in other like not just Des Moines district you know Johnston my son goes to school in Johnston <laughs> she's Janine. like I'm the yeah, she's, yeah. Like, <laughs> she, she's like uh, hold up yeah well <laughs> you know I um, because I live in Des Moines of course Des Moines was the uh, that school district was the first place that I decided that's where we need to go. Mm -hmm. And so working with district personnel um, and being a, a partner um, with them, we made it happen. And we decided to start at one school just mm -hmm. so we could make sure that we we're on point, that we're meeting the need that we are seeking to meet. Mm -hmm. um, and then, like I said, next school year, we're looking to, to broaden our reach sure. so certainly it's something that we are happy to um to think about and to strategize about going to other districts and even yeah. other schools of course within mm -hmm. des moines uh, school district but um wherever there is a need that's where we want to find ourselves sure that's i mean i'm just thinking because i know my son since the pandemic has struggled in several you know subjects which reading being one so i'm just thinking for myself how do i get him those type of resources and you know and I know that like you, you are just growing, but it would be nice to see you in Johnston and in Ankeny. And, well, let's so, talk about yeah. that. <laughs> and you know, so often I, I've, in working with these wonderful students, mm -hmm. um, I call them scholars. They mm -hmm. are Sankofa yes. scholars. Yes. And we have very high expectations. We, we meet the children where they are, but we also let them know that you are intelligent Yeah. because every child is we intelligent. We have to build them up and tell we them. We build that, them up, yeah. right? You know, and they write it down. I am intelligent. Mm -hmm. I am a scholar. Scholar. teaching them affirmations absolutely we have to mm -hmm. because it's the conversations we have within ourselves
yourself yep. that can have really significant impact into how we move around in the world. Absolutely. You know, I um, love the literacy piece. So mm-hmm. I'm a former literacy teacher. <laughs> yes. For Des Moines Public Schools, and my first job was at Stowe. Oh, wow. So you say you're at Stowe, I'm like, for, and I'm visiting Stowe in February. But where did that passion come from, the literacy from you? Because I know that's been kind of your, your thing, but where did that grow? Because I, I know that they say the defining age for kids is that third and fourth grade year. That's where you kind of make up your minds about school, about literacy, things of that sort. So where did that passion come for you? And why is this such important work? Thank you. I appreciate that question because literacy has always been important in my life. Yes. Um, I grew up in the hood. If Des Moines has a hood, it was where I live, right? <laughs> and so 13th and Mon Damon, and my parents bought us uh, the Encyclopedia Britannica. Mm-hmm. And that was in the house. And so I found myself in between cartoons, picking out an encyclopedia and looking to see what I didn't know Mm -hmm. before. And so um, between that and just being able to go to Mid City Library before Mm -hmm. that was shut down. Um, Mid City Library used to be on the corner of 13th Mm -hmm. and University. (laughs) Um, So going there and enjoying the books and enjoying just the feeling of what a book could do for you. Mm You know, someone said, now who it is escapes me at this point, but if you can read, you can be free. Yes. And I believe that to be true. Mm -hmm. And one of the affirmations um, we tell our students is, if you can think it, you can write it. If you can write it, you can read it. Mm -hmm. And if you can read, you can be free. Mm -hmm. So it's important for me to, to, to get the kids and have these interventions right at third and fourth grade because that's an indicator whether they're reading or not at grade level at that point is an indicator as to whether or not they'll be on the school to prison pipeline mm-hmm. yeah so yes. rather than have the children or students rather i'm a mom so everybody's a child to me <laughs> but um rather than seeing these students get caught up in the criminal legal system mm-hmm. and have all kinds of things on their record and them having these terrible interactions Let's rewind. Let's go back and see where we can intervene in their younger years and give them some tools, give them some skills, give them some hope. And so that's why. Yeah, that's why. It's wonderful. So, Ms. Abena, as we uh, get ready to wrap up this portion before we bring on our next guest, if you wouldn't mind, Matt, will you tell her which camera to look into? Um, I would like for you, and I, I know I'm kind of springing this on you, but I, I feel <laughs> Thanks, like, Rob. I feel like, I feel like you, you, you're, you're prepared no matter what because of the speeches I've seen you give. Um, if you could give just an inspirational message to somebody right now, um, who may be struggling, who you may inspire, right? Each one of our voices touch somebody. And I was telling mm-hmm. somebody the other day, uh, who I'm called to may not be who you're called yeah, to. Right. right. Who I'm able to reach may not mm-hmm. be who you're able to reach and who you're able to reach, I may not be able to reach. And so there's somebody right now that may be watching this, that they watch it because they like us, but we haven't been able to yet inspire them or reach them yet. But maybe your voice today as somebody who they have now identified, if they didn't already know, as somebody who is making black history and especially with that announcement, that's major, major uh, black history. That impact is a major impact. Yeah, absolutely. Um, if you could just look at whichever camera Matt is going to point to and just give them an inspirational message, just something to inspire them uh, as we get ready to uh, go before we go to our commercial and go to the next next guest. Well, I don't. Um, I'm a little complicated with that because inspiration comes from within. So hopefully my words will just be a motivator for people out there, any black men and black women who are listening um, May my words be a motivator motivator for you to look within mm. and really find that you are here for a reason and that I thought about this today. I, I listen to a lot of scholars, black scholars, and one in particular says that we are here um, to touch something while we're here. And it's uh, this comes from Carter G. Woodson, the father of Black History Mm -hmm. Week, which has become Black History Month, is that we are here not only to 
do what we're here to do, but we're here to touch something while we're here. So your life is important and your impact is important and to touch something and to leave it better than it was in the condition it was in when you found it. Mm. That's a principle also um, is to leave the world better than we inherited it. So I just yes. encourage everybody to reach within, figure out what you're good at and go take the world by storm. There's nothing stopping us. Mm -hmm. um, if there's anything in your way, I dare you to stand right in its face and do your purpose anyway. Yes. Um, that's how I've lived my life and I don't prescribe that to anybody unless I think that other people are bold enough to do it. Mm -hmm. So there is nothing stopping you but you. Find your purpose, live your purpose and be unafraid be unafraid you can do it thank you for that thank, thank you. you yeah no thank you for those words um I, I love that inspiration it's it's in you it's, you're a motivator your words are a motivator for people mm -hmm. for them to do something so we thank you so much for being thank you. here and just sharing a little bit about the work that you're doing i'm truly excited now speaking from a board perspective that you are <laughs> in the schools yeah. for des moines public schools this is you know i believe the work that you're doing is going to be a part of the change that we need so i am very excited um to see how that that works out and all of you that have been watching we have abana with us she is a black history maker oh. here she is she's she says oh no but i'm telling you we're going to talk about what she's doing years to come yeah. i guarantee how do they get a hold of you really quick before we go to commercial like if they wanted to book you for a speech or uh, join your book club or anything like that. sure so uh the website is www.abanasankofa.com and the email address is hello at abanasankofa.com and you can always watch my ted talk iowa nice interrupted Yes. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much. Great TED Talk. Make sure you do check that out. <laughs> and we're going to take a break here at the Urban Impact Show. We'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> The Urban Impact Show is sponsored by Green and Wood Media Services. Green and Wood uses digital media to help businesses, political campaigns, and organizations grow while increasing their community impact. Green and Wood Media is pleased to offer a digital media buying fellowship to train, develop, and mentor young people interested in digital media, politics, and advertising. Learn more at greenandwoodmedia.com. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Urban Impact Show. Uh, I am super excited, man. Like, 
th- our first guest, Miss Abana Sankofa, was absolutely wonderful. Um, it, th- this is what this is what making Black History looks yeah. like, you know. And I'm super excited uh, to to our team for even getting this set up. Uh, shout out to Madison, Dewana, Matt, Brittany, Lawana, our whole squad. Um, also, d- please don't forget the Urban Impact Show is brought to you live from the studio in um, yeah. Windsor yeah. Heights. <laughs> for the second time today. <laughs> wow. <laughs> really, Brittany? You? I did not expect that. I did not expect that. The Urban Impact Show is brought to you live from the studio in Windsor Heights. This space is available for private events. Please call or text with questions. The phone number is 515-996-0326. Again, the Urban Impact Show is live from the studio in Windsor Heights. This space is available for private events and booking. And you can call or text with questions. 515-996-0326. So, uh, w- w- let's jump back in it with our black history makers. Y'all know mm-hmm. this is all about the impact that you're going to make um, because really we're doing this because we want to challenge our, our watchers, our viewers, uh, those who are our supporters of this show. We want to challenge you to think, what are people going to say about you in the next 10 years, in the next, e- whether you're whether you're black, white, Hispanic, you know, w- where will you fall in uh, with your impact? And so our next guest, of course, is somebody who I value as a mentor. Uh, he was one of the very first campaigns that I worked on. Uh, one of the very first people to tell me the truth and let me tell y'all something about uh, State Representative Akeo. Uh he has a habit of yelling at you without yelling so one time I gave a speech that wasn't so good of a speech <laughs> It wasn't so good of a speech. He came up and he said, yeah, brother, we're going to have to do better than that. (laughs) But I will tell you, when I did do well, he called me and he said, hey, you've gotten better. (laughs) I want you to understand you've gotten better. We need people like that in our life. You do. You do. You you know, and I try to tell Mm -hmm. him all the time, stop wearing wearing church pants with gym shoes. But hey, when you reach 70, I guess you could do stuff like that. You know, you want to be comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, and and so, (laughs) so in in that way, uh, State Representative K.I. I greet you in peace by saying assalamu alaikum. (laughs) Assalamu alaikum. Will you please tell the people about yourself? Um, my name is Akeo Abdul Samad. I'm a servant. That's who I am, and that's what I do. I do it wear many hats, but it's all about being a servant. So that's all I have to say about me. And I noticed that he put his deep voice on. Did anybody else notice that? Like his octave went down. But well, I, I wanted to be low enough so I can catch you. <laughs> I know if we get too high, we'll miss you. So, you know. <laughs> this is about to be an interesting 30 minutes. <laughs> this is going to be one of our best shows. I can tell already. Someone, yeah. cause someone meets him, meets Rob where he is. Exactly. Uh, yeah. It could exactly. be in a good way. It, is. it could be in a good way. Brit- Brittany, you are making history. <laughs> Duana is to you now. <laughs> okay, I'll take on. So, Representative Kao, you know, we're all watching the things going on in the legislature, and um, what do we do? It just it feels like some of the bills that are that are coming forward, and I'm speaking from a school perspective. You know, yes. looking at yes. some of the bills that they're bringing to light. You know, we're we're having things about books. We're proposing cameras in the classrooms, and just all of these things seem to just feel like what is going on and i think for people they feel like you know what can i do to be a a part of either you know speaking to someone or figuring out what this change looks like and so you know what advice do you give to people it just feels like at times right now it's just feeling i won't say hopeless or helpless but you know when there's a majority um in the in the legislature kind of doing their thing and you feel like no matter what if you speak up or if you say something you still don't feel like your voice is being heard so what do you say to people, you know, as we're dealing with the times um, that we are right now? Uh, that's a great question. And secondly, thank you for having me. Here. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. You know, I appreciate yeah. it. And, and you being a history maker yourself, mm-hmm. I'm so honored. Oh, thank you. To be sitting next to you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, you know, I really am. Uh, I can't say anything about the other side of Brittany, but I, <laughs> I just love I just love Brittany. But, yeah. 
But I, I must say that we're we're at a, a a juncture that we're being hoodwinked and bamboozled. Yeah. Mm. And mm. and I and I say that because our focus is on the Republicans and it should not be. Mm-hmm. Wow. You know, if Maya Angelou, like she said, if somebody shows you who they are, believe them. You accept them. Yeah. Believe them. Mm-hmm. So the Republicans have shown who they are, mm-hmm. and they believe in what they're doing. Right. Most of them. Mm-hmm. So why would I waste time Mm -hmm. now trying to fight Republicans? Mm -hmm. What I have to do and what we ask the people to do, we have to show up. Right. We have to show up at the polls. Mm -hmm. Yes. We Mm -hmm. have to show up at the Capitol. Mm -hmm. You know, when I know when I'm sitting there and we're addressing gun bills. Yeah. And my colleagues are pushing gun bills. Mm -hmm. The the gallery is full. Mm -hmm. But when we're fighting for education, Mm -hmm. for getting money into the classroom and paying our teachers, Mm -hmm. I can look up and count on one hand. Yeah. You know the number of people Mm -hmm. that have come, and the unfortunate part is not us. Right. We're not showing up, Mm -hmm. and we're not showing out. Yeah. You know, we we need to support shows like this. We need to fund, mm-hmm. you know, shows like this so mm-hmm. that you're on four or five days a week. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. instead of like, yeah, mm-hmm. because that's what's important. We right. have to tell our story. Mm-hmm. Yes, and as long do. as we don't tell our story and we don't show out, mm-hmm. you know, we have problems. As long as, you know, we can get mad at right. the Republicans when they wanted to, you know, pass a bill about not having 16, 19 in the curriculum mm-hmm. when they had have bill, you know, house study bill 802 to stop training. But the key is, nobody came up in the gallery. Mm. And the other question is, how many called the representative? Right. Okay, what's the gallery? The gallery is the viewpoint that individuals can come Mm -hmm. and say, we have four. Two on the east side, one on the east side, one on the west side. At the state capitol. At the state right capitol. Now, if, if there's a bill that is being debated on the floor, people can show up at the capitol. Show up at the capitol. And then they can go into one of the galleries yes. to show their either support or dissent for something. Yes. Correct? Correct. And and the, the key with that is that it works. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, when Wayne was first pushing you know, uh, the bill, and I, and I think it was a bouncer bill, Mm-hmm. You know, we he called me because what we did, we did what Mrs. Davis, some of the, the person's shoulders we stand on. Mm-hmm. Davis, you know, we got people to come up. Right. And Wayne called me, said, you know, in his fashion, I didn't understand what he said, but I knew we need to get there. <laughs> you know, so we got, you know, we we filled up the gallery. Right. Of people, mm-hmm. and a lot of them were kids, mm-hmm. but we filled the gallery up, mm-hmm. and the impact that it made—I'll uh, never forget. Representative Scott Riker came up in the gallery with and said, "Akeo, we're not going to pass it now, but I promise you, we'll tack it onto another bill and pass it." Mm-hmm. But that was the impact we had, right. right? Because not only you know you look up, these are voters. Mm-hmm. See, people are concerned about voters. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But if we don't go and vote, right. if we don't show up to show our worth, mm-hmm. we don't get what we want. And right. then we get hoodwinked and bamboozled, bamboozled mm-hmm. because we're sitting there talking about Republicans this yes. and Governor this yeah. and this and that. Mm-hmm. And why they're voting. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yep. See, and we get so, and then we get emotional, mm-hmm. you know, <laughs> instead of putting into a strategic plan. Right. Mm-hmm. And that's what we have to be able to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, it's not, and then we get into, you know, like, well, Ruth and Anna, K.O. and them, they ain't doing nothing up there. You know, I ain't got time for that. Right, right. You know, if you don't think we're doing anything, come up there. Mm-hmm. Come help. Yeah. You know, come up there, mm-hmm. put your foot on my neck, and say, this is what we're going to do. Mm-hmm. But don't take your short leg and try to put it on my neck and you ain't nowhere near me. Right. You know, and and I, I have to be blunt. Yeah. Because we're losing a race mm-hmm. and we're not even running. Yeah. Right. Wow. Mm-hmm. That is true. So I have to be blunt. Yeah. So another uh, question. Um, we talked about, like, you repre- you're a representative, um, you know, some of the things that you're focusing on. What are other things that you're involved in? And, you know, let our um, viewers know other things in the community you're involved in. Or Yeah, I, you know, I, I try to be involved in a whole lot of stuff, mm-hmm. you know, um, because when you're a servant, you have no limits. Yeah. You know, you serve with the people in need. One yeah. of the 
honors I have is being the founder and CEO of Creative Visions, mm -hmm. which we help individuals. Yes. We we feed individuals. Mm -hmm. We provide clothing for individuals. Mm -hmm. We provide uh, mediation for right. individuals. We have a crime victims program. And now we have another program to help address violence in the community. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a Creative Visions, mm -hmm. and we use the Cure Violence curriculum, but we're reaching out to those between the age of 13 to 25. Right. You know, we, we feed it, we get pantry orders, you know, that type of thing, and so we're there. Mm -hmm. You know, we go into schools. Uh, it was really uh, interesting because when we talk about showing out and yeah. doing the things that we need to do, mm -hmm. one of the things that was awesome was the fact that one of my colleagues, a Republican, mm -hmm. you know, him and I are odds on the floor all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he called me and said, okay, oh, I heard you were ill, but I was hesitant to call him, but would you please come and speak to our students? Mm -hmm. And that was in Denison, Iowa. Mm -hmm. And I went up and spoke to 800 of his students. Wow. You see, when you don't get bamboozled and hoodwinked, right. then you can be you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can have truth on your side. Mm -hmm. And people respect truth. Yes. And if you're honest, yeah, you know, and they know you honest, and mm -hmm. they know you got it in your heart, you know they got it in their heart, right. then you have a mutual foundation to mm -hmm. function from. Mm -hmm. And I did, I went and spoke to the 800 students, and it, it was a diverse community, and I mean, you should have seen that they were so excited. Yeah. You know, and, and I was excited. What were you did, asked did you, to speak about? Did you about? drive to Denison? No, Rob, I, I didn't because I, cause I was going to invite you if I had to drive for me, but we couldn't find a car short enough. Short enough well, you know, to, so you could yeah. you eight hours. But, yeah. there, you yeah. but, you know, but, but we tried, but you know, uh, you know, Brittany, he's so happy to have you just a little smaller behind me. But you know, the the thing is, and, and let me be clear, yeah. like we're laughing now, yeah. but a lot of us in the struggle laugh to keep from crying. Yes. Absolutely. Amen. Because yes. we have mm -hmm. right now a community yeah. in pain. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. And we're moving now mm -hmm. to be able to turn that pain into power. Yeah. But we have to do it now mm -hmm. yeah. to the point to where we're doing it systemically and not cosmetically. Right. We have to be able to draw a clear line of demarcation between simple achievement and progress. Mm -hmm. yeah. And those are the terms that we have to start addressing right. and dealing with. Can I just say this really quick? Um, like we, we we're talking about people who are making an impact in history like right now um and i can truly say um that M mr akeo has uh definitely been on the front lines whether it was taking attacks whether it was lies whether it was fighting on our behalf whether it was, I mean, he has taken the brunt end of a lot of things. And here's what don't make the news. Mm -hmm. What don't make the news is us, and I'm saying us only for the simple fact that I've only been there a few times and he's been doing this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not trying to make a joke, but he's been doing this longer than I've been alive, right? Mm -hmm. This man has been doing this since the 1960s, right? Yeah. Yeah. I was born mm -hmm. in 88. I, and so, like, what doesn't make the news is the stuff that where he's up at 3 a.m. in the morning going to a family at the hospital because somebody was shot and killed mm -hmm. or to mediate a situation in a community where violence is getting serious, mm -hmm. right? What doesn't make the news is where where he's putting gas in somebody's car mm -hmm. out of his own pocket, not, not, not taking money from somewhere else, mm -hmm. out of his own pocket because he just happened to see them struggling at the grocery store, mm -hmm. right? What doesn't make the news are these are, are these moments of of true character yeah. mm -hmm. that comes through where 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 you know I have the and honestly I'm honored where I have the privilege of sitting under somebody uh, that I really do believe in, yeah. right? Somebody who can really truly set an example of where we can go. And of, of real selflessness. It doesn't mm -hmm. mean he doesn't get frustrated or hurt right. or in moments of, in, in these in these moments. But this stuff don't make the news. 
But what but what bothers me sometimes is how we as a community sometimes always try to tear down our own yeah. leaders. Yep. Mm-hmm. Right? And well, who made him a leader? Or who did this? Or who said that? And all of this other. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, it's just like, listen, y'all, it, if I it, it's it, it's a number one tactic in the book. Mm-hmm. Cut the head, and the body will follow. These are these are these are leaders that we should be empowering and uplifting because, you know, like a lot of the things that you name, they they do fight for us so much that they get yeah. tired. So they need us to uplift them, and they need us to be there for them, and, and they need us to empower them. We do this to ourselves, yeah. Brittany and Donna. Yeah. We do this to ourselves because the the very person that that you're going to need to fight on your behalf at the Polk County Attorney's Office is the very person that we find uh, some folks running their mouth and talking yeah. about just because they done heard something or they believe something. But when something happens, he's and the main one that you want to run to for help. Something happens, for who, help. who the hell are you going to call? Yeah. And yes, I said. Yeah. Who, who are you going to call? You'll be the first person in mind. Right. Talk so much stuff, yeah. and then they say, well, somebody get a K on the phone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, I, I do want to say that those are the people that we can't spend no time on. True. Yeah, thank you. See, it, we, that we, is so true. You know, yes. we, that, you know, the people that are my haters, and let me, let me, where's the camera in my hand? I mean, this one? Mm-hmm. Thank you. <laughs> to my haters, I want to say because yes. you keep my name out there, yep, and I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. You don't know what you're talking about, but I'm cool. <laughs> but you keep my name out there, so thank you. Yes. And I had, you know, those people. I don't pay them because you know, Rob, God is good. All the time, and God blesses yes. us. Yes, all the, know, time. all the time. All the time. And it was interesting the other day because I just was in a meeting with an individual that. Uh, at Urban Campus and it was so funny because the individual looked at me he said you know I, I don't know what you you do in the community you know I've heard this and heard that and you know I said okay mm-hmm. and he said you want to tell me what you do I said no no <laughs> right I said I'm I said I'm okay with me right you know I'm okay but as I walked out the building that he was standing in you know what he will see in the next two months is a plaque <laughs> you know, that goes up an urban campus that names Kalani Sadiq, you know, uh, Dr. Florence Loss, uh, Dean Hamlet, Sekou Ntiari, M- and mm. Akeo Abdul Samad as founders. Mm. Because when they were going to close urban campus and move it downtown, we fought to keep it there. That's right. Mm-hmm. So we're the founders, wow. and now Urban Campus and you and I have formed a relationship mm-hmm. so individuals can go to school. Mm-hmm. Wow! And for four years, see that that's you know. Let's not even forget though, and I'm moving past the people who yeah. are doing crap. Right. Yeah. I just want to point out the fact that they've paid <laughs> people's rent. They've mm-hmm. given a yeah. scholarship to people yeah. for, uh, for, uh, for for school. Mm-hmm. And I'll never forget this. Uh, you know, he got me a couple times, y'all. Uh, so I would just want to say this. Don't be in the room when the KO started talking about money because uh, he going to get you. <laughs> <laughs> KO says, KO says, we want to give a scholarship to these young men uh, who can save money, right? Yeah. And he says, I need $500 from from I think it was 10 individuals or something like that he said I need $500 he looks up he says Reverend Rob you got $500 in front of everybody (laughs) am I going to say no (laughs) am I going to say no no I ain't got that (laughs) I sure do I sure do even if I got to do monthly payments of $100 right we'll figure it out you you see what I'm saying you see what I'm saying but but I'm I'm saying yeah so this is the type of person that pushes you to eat even do something mm-hmm. even better, yeah. right? And and it was it, it was like it, and then trust me, he gonna follow up too. Hey, hey, Rev, I know we you had committed to that five hundred dollars. I was wondering when can we expect that five hundred dollars? <laughs> you know what? Let me go get that in cash and drop that off right now because I need to clear that debt up. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't want a KO looking for you in his black car, okay? Yeah. Um, but and, and and I I I'm saying all of this because I have. Uh, the honor and the privilege of, of, of sitting under this man who I call mentor. Um, and I've, I, 
I've been in some really awesome places. I've seen some awesome things. Um, but one thing that continues to touch my heart is somebody like him um, who's able to call me. And, and I want to be clear on this. Akeo is not always nice to me for those who think, you know, we just so close and so we just, you know, buddy, buddy. He he calls and checks me quite, <laughs> quite often. Like, I just want to be clear on that. This is not no no pat you on the back type of relationship. This a, hey, get, get it together or I'm going to get you together. Right? And it's and, and it's, a, it's, it, right? a lo- it's a love it's a love thing, mm-hmm. right? And that's what I love about the impact and the history that he's making. Uh, God forbid, but if something was to happen to this man, I would be able to really tell real true stories mm-hmm. not something that y'all gonna make up at his service yeah. but I'm gonna be able <laughs> to tell real true stories on how he was not only impactful in our community but how he was truly impact and my, my son is going to refer to him as Paul Paul Kale mm-hmm. right my ne- my nephew every time he sees a Kale he my nephew wanted to go volunteer at Creative Visions because yeah. be, because of a Kale mm-hmm. right and my my nephew Sheldon is eight years old. Those he's always with me most of the time, and so I mean, and and let me tell y'all this. I, I I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna give y'all a chance to talk. No, I'm it's, just. It's, it's just. Good. It's just. I just want people to really see what they don't see yeah. outside of social media and what's on the news, mm-hmm. right? Because people don't get the chance to see what I see. Mm-hmm. Um, and and you 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 know sometimes sometimes I have to encourage a kale right mm-hmm. you know it's like yeah. hey I know you've been doing this for a while but we still need you yeah mm-hmm. you know representative a kale yeah. where is you, where's your um, location where's where are you located where's Creative Visions located we're located right on the corner of Thirteenth and Forest Avenue and you can't miss the building we have a huge mural there that shows yeah. from Beautiful mural. hopelessness yeah. to hope. You know, and there's 200 something names on that wall Mm -hmm. of individuals we've lost in our community. There's over 200 something names. 170 something of those names I've helped put in the ground. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. You know, uh, we have have to understand that we have a crisis in our community Mm -hmm. and it's up to each one of us to be in our lane to do the work. And if we get on our lane and do the work, Mm -hmm. then we all make history. Right. But, and then we tell our own story. Mm-hmm. You know, once we are able to do that, mm-hmm. then we even are more impactful. Yes. You know, we're more impactful mm-hmm. than ever before. And, you know, then we quit looking for leaders and mm-hmm. that type of thing mm-hmm. because leaders emerge. Yes. They you know, do. Brittany emerges. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. other than you emerge. Mm-hmm. You know, I, you know mm-hmm. Rob emerges. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I'm so excited. I, I'm serious. I'm so yes. Shoot, I, I I got so excited the other morning. Mm-hmm. I put Afro Sheen on my bald head. So you know, <laughs> I I just totally excited. You know because you know I'm I'm watching the leadership that's coming yeah. up. Mm-hmm. And if we change our language to the point of you know you and Rob and all of us, we don't mm-hmm. pass the baton right. to you. We mm-hmm. light your yes. Baton. I like that. Yeah, I like we that. light it. That way we're there together mm-hmm. yes. as you begin to do what you have to do, mm-hmm. and that's what you have. <clears throat> leadership isn't how many people you have Thank following you. you. Yeah. Yes. Leadership is how many leaders can you create. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Say See, that that's is. leadership. Yes. That yeah. is. And that's what we have mm-hmm. to look at now. You sounding like a Baptist preacher. Yeah. Uh, I was like, oh. Oh. <laughs> be on Pastor Clay. Amen. I'm like, yes. Hey. Yes. I'm, I'm ready. Yes. <laughs> you know, I because re- you know. I get in trouble, you know, because they say you're a Muslim, but I, I actually preach in Baptist churches, he, he you know. <laughs> and I, and I'm Methodist. Right. I go to the synagogue, mm-hmm. you know, if I'm going around the corner, and because I got trauma and I get depressed, I got a Buddhist temple around my corner mm-hmm. where I live. Mm-hmm. I just go to the Buddhist temple. Right. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't understand the words they're saying, uh-huh. you know, but <laughs> we communicate. We communicate with each other. Yeah. I go in and I do my prayer and they... You know, and I said, me too. Yeah. You know, and we're good we, we because if, you know, you know, religion is for those who fear hell. Mm-hmm. Spirituality is for those who've been there. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's See, good. and if you 
have been there, mm -hmm. then your spirituality comes out, and right. you can go to anybody, worship with anybody, right. and you can deal with anybody that you mm -hmm. need to. That's what you look mm -hmm. at. And that's where I'm at now, and it's about taking what I have, because I want to retire, because yeah. I want to be the library. Yeah, yeah. So we, we, you know, Mrs. Glantown, we yes. weren't able to use that library. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, Judge Glanton, you know, Mrs. Davis. Right. But enough of us have been around them mm -hmm. that we're the new library yes. in town. Mm -hmm. So if we can be the library yeah. and you can come, mm -hmm. you know, and you don't need a card, just a moment to sit down and talk. Yeah. Then you can check out mm -hmm. what we have. I right. like that. So, Representative um, Akeo. One thing I want to mention before we move on to the next part of, of the show is, you know, I just want, want to give you your flowers. I think that in our community, we don't do a lot of, you know, giving leaders their flowers. I want you to know that, you know, we respect you. You know, we're proud of you. You know, we think that all the work you're doing is very awesome um, and we appreciate you. And, and so, like you said, you talked about retiring. Hopefully that's no time soon because we need you, you know, right now. So just want to thank you, you know, from the Urban Impact Show for your um, yes. your your work and support you mm -hmm. and so this is yes. a part of the sh in the show um that we want to um turn it over to you I, I hear that you have a, a big announcement that you want to um you know say today on our show so we'll let you do that before we wrap things up well i actually have an honor okay you know to to be able because you know rob talks about but i have a great love and respect <clears throat> yeah because i watch yeah rob grow mm -hmm. you know and I watched him grow into his different hats mm -hmm. and everything. His last hat, I kind of questioned, but I'm okay <laughs> with it, you know. Because when I saw his poster and he looked like Father Divine, you know, I, I kind of, you know, I wanted to call him and, right. you know, I said, is it Father Divine or Cliff Low Dollar? I, did, I didn't know which one. I didn't know which one it was, but, you know, I, I love this brother, you know. And then, you know, he brought his son, so I just Duana, decided. Duana, you laughed to, a little too hard. I, I, <laughs> where's the loyalty? I, I, so when he brought his son up, I, I decided to stay with Father Divine so I could talk to Minnie Divine. So, <laughs> so, yeah, I wanted to do that. But, you know, all, all kidding and everything, I love this brother, mm -hmm. you know, as I love you too, mm -hmm. you know. But I love this brother, and I watched what he went to, through, and we've been through a lot together. And the last event that he had, we had a vision from God. Mm -hmm. Where to give gasoline mm -hmm. to people? Mm -hmm. yes. You know, I that was so awesome. Yeah, you that know, was and, really when, awesome. and when he called me, mm -hmm. you know, he doesn't know. You know, when Rob calls, all I say is, "What do you want me to do?" Mm -hmm. You know, and that's the way we have to be. Yeah, yeah. Yes. You know, we what do you want me that. to do? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. And he was so humble. He said, "I just want you to be there." And it shocked me. He didn't ask me for money. <laughs> you know. <laughs> But you know, I you said, get that $500 back? Yeah, yeah, no, no. but he did. He came and got it. He got, yeah, yeah. And I called him. I said, brother. I, I said we would have held sponsor. He said I was gonna call you. You know, I just wanted to wait. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. But the brother is did that. But in doing that, and we're gonna honor him mm -hmm. Tuesday. Okay. So oh. people that can come Tuesday yes. morning. What they would see us do, and I'm gonna do it on the house floor. Yes, because see, we don't honor us on the house floor. Yeah, no, we don't. I no, see. Don't. I've been in the house for 16 years, and I'm wow. running for re-election mm -hmm. to make it 18. Yeah, because I want to be the longest-serving African American. Yeah, you know, and then I want Brittany and others to come after that. Yeah. Yeah. you know, I want them right. to come and take that away yeah. from us. Yes. Yeah, but we have to have tenacity. Mm -hmm. That's but what awesome. this says. House of how, Iowa House of Representatives Certificate of Recognition, Rob, Reverend Rob Johnson, mm -hmm. having been brought to the attention of State Representative K. O. Abdul Saman, that Reverend Rob Johnson deserves recognition in his commitment to bettering the community yes. through acts of service. That's awesome. And this is now, therefore, it goes on, therefore, in consideration of the foregoing, the undersigned does hereby extend congratulations and warm wishes on this 27th day of January 2022. Akeo Abdul Samad. That's awesome. Yay. Yeah. That is wonderful. So, wonderful. We, we have to, you know, we have to so begin awesome. to recognize 
wow. individuals. Now, yes, we do. You know, do. I, you know, one of the best times I had, I spent four days with President Mandela. Mm -hmm. You know, I wow. was his student. Mm -hmm. That's why I looked at mm -hmm. it. And I was among, actually, the majority of Caribbean leaders right. that I was in awe. And I came as a student. Yeah. You know, once we understand and we learn, mm -hmm. Then one thing that I learned from President Mandela, then you reach back yep. and you start complimenting and helping those who are going to take your spot. Yep. Wow. And see, there's yeah. nothing. And I and let me be real clear. I don't want Rob or anybody else to walk in my footsteps yeah. or in my shoes. Yeah. They have to have their own shoes mm -hmm. and no yep. footsteps. Yep. That's right. See, we that's what I'm saying. We get so convoluted mm -hmm. when we're trying to do because we take on things that we've been conditioned to take on. Mm -hmm. You know, they tell me, "Well, oh, Brittany, you gotta walk in, you know, Dewana's foot." steps and mm -hmm. inner shoes. Mm -hmm. You may not be able to fit a shoe. You create your own. Yeah. Yeah. You got to create your mm -hmm. own shoes mm -hmm. to create that path yes. so right. someone behind you can come. Mm -hmm. right. You know, and that's what Rob has done. Mm -hmm. You know, he does that because people told him and I'm sharing this. Mm -hmm. And if he's mad, or I'm sharing it. That's his issue. So, you know, <laughs> but, you mad. know, people showed him, told him, uh, don't fill up the tank. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. just, just put $25 yeah, in for yeah. yeah. yes, You know, did. Rob said, God no. yeah. told me to fill up the tank. Yep. And he stayed on yep. that. Yep. And see, and that's what people get upset about because they don't understand once you're given a directive, yep. yeah. a vision, yes. and you stay with that vision, yes. then they're the ones who get mad because mm -hmm. you stay with the vision. Yep. And then you just got to smile at them and say thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And then take it like Dr. King said, I thank God That's he right. told me to love everybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I also thank God that he didn't tell me how to like everybody. Yeah. <laughs> right. See, and, and you know, and that's okay. And I can honestly say, there's people I don't like. Right. <laughs> that doesn't mean I don't love them. Yeah. I yeah. can't work with them. That's yeah. right. That don't mean we won't do it. Yes. But I don't like you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I would never hurt you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would never backbite you. Mm -hmm. I would never try to cut your throat. I would never stop you from progress. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Because that's my love for you. Yeah. And Minister Farrakhan told me, sitting at the dinner table, he said, brother, you have to love your people more than they hate themselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see, so we have a mission. Yes, mm -hmm. we do. See, and so that's all we have to do. But I'm not going to give this to Rob now because I don't want I don't want him to lose it but you know <laughs> but I will make sure you know he will get it Tuesday morning and those that want to come you know should come by mm -hmm. and watch us honor this brother because we don't do this on the floor often that's big you know especially to our own yeah mm -hmm. can you um tell our, our our viewers where they can like where they where this is going to be hailed like what time and what time it's going to be at the him? state capitol the one with the gold dome mm -hmm. the one we drive past mm -hmm. and act like it ain't ours <laughs> you know it's going to be right there you come in come up to the second floor go up to the gallery yeah you know, and then you'll see uh and that i open up and they'll do prayer and that type of thing and then somebody will give a black history fact and then I will ask for permission to do an introduction and that's when I'm going to do that with Reverend Johnson. What time? Uh, uh, probably about between 8.30 and 9. Okay. So yeah. if you guys can, let's come out and, and support Rob as he, he exactly. gets his, his certifi this certificate. Exactly. It's exciting. That's big. And clap. Yes. You know, we, we sit up there and get in front of, and I'm not going to say white folk, you know, mm -hmm. but we get in front of some folk, mm -hmm. mostly white folk, and and, <laughs> and and we act like there's something wrong. Yeah. yeah. Like you we know, don't want to celebrate each other yeah, in public. We get quiet real quick, you know, and we get quiet. You know, and, and then, we, you know, we, we get subservient. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, be you. Yeah. Do you. Because that's who white folk respect. Mm -hmm. People respect when you do you. Yeah. yeah. They may not like you. Yeah. But they respect But they, when you tell the truth and do you, mm -hmm. they respect that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just like if somebody comes and you always tell them the truth and you speak truth, mm -hmm. you know, that way the truth is never brutal. Yeah. Yeah. 
And again, they may not like you, but who will they go to? They go to you because yeah. mm-hmm. they're going to get the truth. Yep. Yeah. And that's what we have to be. Yeah. And it's okay. So let me just say this before Dewana closes us out because I know we're out of time. Uh, I love you. I appreciate you. Um, and thank you uh, for for coming because, uh, when, again, you know, when I received that that directive that I believe was truly from God uh, to to do that, you were right there. Like you, you, you know, you answered the you answered the call, and you know, um, so I appreciate that. I really, really do, and I'm I'm looking forward to uh, being there on Tuesday. And, and thank you. Thank, thank you, thank you, you, thank you. Thank you. Duana, you want to close us out? Yeah, it has been an awesome show here at the Urban Impact Show. I believe that um, if anything today, hopefully you've been inspired yes. to become a history maker. Mm-hmm. You've been inspired to do something uh, different. Uh, Kayo, I thank you for being with thank us you. and sharing your, I, I call it words of wisdom, mm-hmm. just about being a servant and loving You know each other. We're living in a space and a place right now where there's so much confusion and chaos going on but if we could just learn to serve each other and love one another uh, we would see this world be a completely and totally different place so we just want to say thank you again for tuning into the urban impact show we love you we care about you and we appreciate you and we will see you next week have a good night everyone have a good night everyone thank you god bless thanks